Hey guys, Spear Spartans here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Destiny 2 beta review. Um, so, beta's been out for like this is a week almost. Um, they extended the time as I'm making this video. It's Monday, the last day of the beta. And it's been fun, but it's also been repetitive because there wasn't really much to do. So we're just going to do a breakdown of how the beta went and things they need to change and opinions, basically. So as I say that, let's get right into the video. Um, first things first, when I first played it, I thought the time to kill was pretty slow. As I played it more, um, it seemed more normal and maybe it's still a tad slow, but I think it's actually fine. So I, they really don't need to adjust that. Um, charge cooldowns need to be reduced because it takes way too long to get your grenades back and whatnot. Um, that's one thing they need to fix. Maybe that's just because like none, nothing. There's nothing, no armor or anything to help that cool down. But they need to fix that for the actual game because it really slows down the pace of the game. So four v four, it's cool and I like it, but it turns away casual players. I know their goal is to make this a competitive game, but you're taking out a big part of the community just by doing 4v4. Most people don't care about competitive, and they're really trying to push this game towards competitive. That's either going to make or break it, and we'll see if that ends up working. But we'll see. You know, i not a huge fan of it. I mean, I don't mind it, but... I think it can work, but we'll see if it actually does work. So one of my biggest fears for this game is that it's too similar to Destiny, and I feel like a lot of people get that. Like Call of Duty, there is still changes every year, um, but at the core it feels like Call of Duty, but there are still changes that you know make it new and refreshing in this game honestly feels too similar to Destiny. Like, I'm sure if you put them side by side, most people, like it, any person who hasn't played Destiny wouldn't really be able to tell uh, the difference, honestly. Um, other than, you know, there's a little new design layout. Other than that, like, it's the same game, just now it's 4v4. You captured zone so SND is now a big thing. They're really trying to push this like competitive playlist, as I said earlier. And SND, which would be from Call of Duty, is the game mode. And I don't really feel like it works very well for Destiny. Um, it works fine in Call of Duty and Counter Strike, but with Destiny, you get a re spawn I don't think it really works that well um I think they're gonna c continue with it obviously but just I don't feel like it's perfect um I don't know what else they could really do but they're trying to push that and as I said we'll see it's gonna make or break this game um it could end up turning a lot of casual players away which this is the biggest console game right now um, without a doubt, on Twitch, it's always the most streamed console game. Um, it used to be Call of Duty, but some Call of Duty people are on Twitch, and Call of Duty's been down. So at the moment, it's the most played and watched game on Twitch console, and that might change, you know, with World War II coming out. And now that they might be pushing away a lot of people this game you know in an effort to make it competitive i think they want this game to be overwatch i honestly think so and competitive would work so much better on pc but since it's going to be a delayed release on pc and pc will also probably get the expansions later as well um you're probably gonna have to wait for destiny 3 to be the for Destiny 3 to be on PC for competitive um, as the main, but 
you know, I guess they could change it, you know, after the game comes out, but it looks like it's going to be PS4 once again. And that's fine, but they just want this game to be Overwatch. And that's kind of my opinion on what they're trying to do. And uh, as I said, it's going to make or break this game. I know I keep repeating that, but um, that's the main thing you guys should get out of this. If you're not a competitive player, like you might not like this game as much. It's 4v4. It's not 6v6, you know? In 4v4, if one player leaves, it's so much harder to come back than in, in a 6v6 when one player leaves. And in a 5v6, it's it's fairly easy to, you know, keep control in a 5v6. But once you get a 3v4, you know, it's pretty much game over, so... I think if you like Destiny 1, you're gonna like this game, but it's just a matter of if you want to play this game for another three years, the same game pretty much, and that's up to you, you know? I can't make that decision for you guys. I think it'll be fun. So on to the Destiny 2 beta review. It's, as I said, it's kind of repetitive, but in the original Destiny beta, we were spoiled so much that this is much more of a beta. It does still seem more like an alpha than a beta, but it's it's all right, you know. We get to see a lot more in the actual game. We don't have to restart, you know, the whole game over basically, like we did in the Destiny beta. But after the Destiny beta on Destiny launch. So this way, it's going to be refreshing. We will still have to redo the homecoming mission, but you know, that's not too big of a deal. It was nice being able to play that um, mission, and so let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Destiny 2 and the beta and everything about Destiny 2 in general. Um, really appreciate it if you like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video.